One interesting feature of the SAP Business by Design is the ability to create all data services on the fly. With this functionality, you can easily customize an API and have the data from your system exposed to third-party applications. Let's see how it works. The first option is we need to choose in the main menu the application and user management. In this entry, we're going to find another option called All Data Services. And in here, we're going to find two main groups. The first one is the SAP All Data Services and the Customized All Data Services. We can then click to add a new one. We choose a service name, like Sales Demo. And by saving and open the definition of the service, we can then set its attributes. The first thing we need to choose is the authorization. So which user is going to have access to this API? We're going to click here if you want to grant access to all the users from the system. Then we're going to search for a business object. That will be the object that I want to have exposed as an API. For example, the sales order. And the sales order, since there are more than one object called sales order in the system, we need to set which has the correct namespace. In our case, the CRM sales order. So we're going to click right there and then choose which is the main node of our API, the main entity of the OData API. So the sales orders have many entities, as you can see, that like the total values, the items, the schedules, and so on. But we're going to find the main node, the root node. We're going to click on OK. And here in this panel, in the left hand side, we're going to have to select which are the nodes we want to have exposed as our data service that we're going to be shown on the right on the right hand side. We click here on select. It will already migrate the node to the right side. And then we can select by each of the fields that we're going to have this we're going to have exposed as attributes in our API. So, for example, we're going to choose the date time, the ID the name if there's one and one sub entity I'm going to have also chosen the total values so this will be a sub entity of the of the main entity of the sales order but we're going to have also aggregate this in the content of our API so inside the total values we have different fields I'm going to choose the gross profit the gross amount per sorry and also the net amount we both the current codes for them. And one interesting option is that this flag up here, include code description. This will get every field that have a code, for example, the currency code, and also add the description of this. For example, if you have like a US dollar, USD as a code, it will came with a description US dollars. So with that, in, that done, we can just save this and we can activate the service. You can see here it will generate a service URL, which you, we can already consume using our browser. So if I click here, we should be redirected to the metadata of the service. But since this is a, a no data service, we can start consuming the entities. And you can see here I have the sales order collection entity. So I can go right there. And also using the OData notation, using one expression like format equal JSON and have the content of the response in the JSON format. So let's just run and see how it goes. There's a lot of data in there. It's coming, it's retrieving all the sales order in the system. And you can see here that for each sales order, we got the date, the ID of that order, this is the number of the order, and gross amount, net amount, and also the currency and the currency description. So any application which have, of course, the authorization for consuming this web service can easily integrate with the system, just like the Alexa, for example.